Hi, this is Tim. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to wire a 4 to 20 milliamp four wire current source device. In our previous lesson, we talked about the difference between a four wire device and a two wire device. So make sure you caught that lesson as well. Note that this is an excerpt from a live stream, so it is not perfect. So the first thing we're actually going to do is we're going to wire a four wire device. And so that means our analog input is going to go to one of the wires and then we need the common or terminal four to go to the other. Now I got to be honest, I don't actually wire this this way and probably someone will disagree with me or tell me, hey, you're being overcautious for nothing. Is this goes through the back plane but ends up being the same 24 volt that you're powering this with? In this case, I usually hook this directly to the zero volt of the power supply. And I'm going to show you both ways just so we can see that it works. And so we're going to look at our analog simulator here now. And on it, if we go to current source, because a four wire device is going to be a current source, then at the bottom, you're going to see that the red terminals are PLC input and the black terminal is the common. So I am going to turn the power off to the trainer and I'm going to grab a couple wires and hook them to the analog simulator. And then if we go back to our manual, we see that our PLC input is going to be that top left terminal. And the third one down is going to be our common. And if I had not ran out so fast, I had a terminal to show you. But in this case, you're just going to take my word for it because, yeah, you're going to struggle probably to see that. And in this case, the camera does not mount well. But OK, so that top left one there, that's going to be our input. And then the third one down is going to be our common. Power this back up. Okay, now the next thing we got to do is figure out where is this analog input. So I added them in these expansion modules here. And if you notice that there is a number in front of these expansions. So our embedded is one. And that means that's local colon one. So our first module is going to be two. Our second module is going to be three and our fourth module is going to be four. So we need to go to local four. Input and we are looking at this channel data right here. OK, and now we'll find out who was actually paying attention because, I, yeah, I said and put these on the first slot. But that's not right. This is the voltage input. Let's see. Will you have will you have drawings on your website so we can watch and reference them? Well, no, you pay attention, Jeff. <laughs> but um, actually, I do have this in a lesson and I will try to find that lesson here in a little bit. Maybe while we're waiting on this um, compact logics to power up one of the times and it goes through the pluses and the minuses. All right, so now I have it hooked to the right place. I should have shown you that. Um, one of the neat features of the analog simulator, and the reason I knew that something was wrong, was with this off, you see this open wire banner? And I apologize, the camera, especially now. My wires are short and my camera is in the wrong position. But it says open wire right here. And that told me that something was wrong with my analog circuit. And that's one of the best features about this. So if I hook the wire back up, or in that case, I just had it hooked to the wrong style of input, then it's going to show something here. And now we can go in to Studio 5000 and we can see, all right, I got it at 1 milliamp right now. And we're seeing a crazy value here, 816. But this is a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. So let's bring it up to 4. Whoops, went too far. And at 4 milliamps, it's showing right at 3270. And if we go up to 20 milliamps, then we are showing 16,378. And so these are the rough values of this. So we're at 20 milliamps now, and yeah, we're seeing 16, what, 16,378. And that doesn't, you know, I see this all the time. One, I will see people that will put those values in. They'll use the raw values and they'll figure out, well, I, I need to kick a pump on at like 12,000 raw value. Well, no, we don't need to do that. We need to figure out some scaling. You know, we need to do some math. 
And yeah, thanks, John. This is a slick little simulator. I probably ought to put a link to this while we're here. Let me just pop that link in. But we need to do some math here. We've got to, you know, we can't, we can't really guess. And even then, what is this 16,000 number here is the next thing that we need to figure out. So I'm going to drop a link here to the analog simulator. This is the PLC Tools Sim ALP2. And there is a link to it. Um, yeah, we can, um, yeah, we can simulate a zero to 10 volt. And like I said, I did set this up. Let me just pop a wire off of here so that I can show you. Yeah. So if we just go to the main menu here, then yeah. Oh, I'm sorry guys. My wires are like a little short, but yeah, we have a current two wire. We have a current source. Then we have a voltage source and yeah, the voltage source will do what you're asking for there. But okay, so now let's talk about how we can figure out exactly what this is. Actually, even before they do that, let's talk about two wire because realistically, you're gonna see way more two wire devices than you are four wire devices. And they're gonna give you the most trouble. And it's not that they're not, it's not, how should I put this? It's not that they're fragile, they're more confusing. And also they are put in much Worst locations, I guess that's the thing I can put. Usually you got a nice transmitter for a four wire signal and usually it'll be, you know, have some enumerating. You know, you got you got a level sensor drop down in some sludge pit, it's gonna be a two wire device. So they just end up in grimy, harsh locations. I'll put a link to the 4 to 20 milliamp lesson series in the description. Till next time. Hey, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.